treat you good. All right, Jared, 987FM.com, Rockarazzi.com. To my right, OK Go. Damien. I'm Tim. Rockarazzi. Rocket. You got, have you guys ever heard of Rockarazzi? Yeah, just now. OK, cool. Yeah. I like it. Paparazzi, don't love them. Rock and roll, do love them. Okay. No cameras. No cameras. I'm going to ask you um, um, just a couple of really quick questions. Um, okay. Do you guys believe in love? Yes. Okay. Um, do you remember? Sorry, sorry. I believe in truth. Truth. Okay. Yeah, I believe in love. Tim yeah. yeah. believes in truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. have, have either one of you guys um, seen a shrink lately? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. for, for, can we talk about it? Or? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just I'm trying to get rid of this belief in love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that working out? No. No. Uh, I mean, I'm better at romantic. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about this whole the interview process? Do you guys dig doing this kind of stuff? I, mean, I, I generally, I generally dig having conversations with people. Yeah, you're pretty good at having a conversation. What I, what I, what I'm not as fond of is 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 people who have lists of questions mm -hmm. and want them answered be, because it's it's un, it's an uncomfortable personal situation. Mm -hmm. And without a doubt, without fail, the list of questions is always the same because mm -hmm. they're the people who are going. Look, there's only six things interesting to talk about with these people, so they ask you exactly the same questions that they already know the answers to because they've read your answers to them for the other 9,000 sure. people who asked you the night. So uh, uh, when you actually can like have an interesting conversation with somebody, it's always fun, yeah. whether there's a camera or not. Is there, is there one thing like in, this, in like this kind of interview that you're like, or with somebody else that you're like, you know what, how can they not ask me about this? Or this is kind of one thing when I walked out the door, it's like, how can they never ask me about this? This is kind of something that I wish that we could talk more about. No. 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 I, I mean, in general, like when, when we come to an interview, I, I, I'm usually kind of interested to just hear what you're going to ask, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I, I generally don't come in kind of being like, God, I hope they ask me, mm -hmm. like, how we did that video. You know, like, right, right. It, it, it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think from the, from the person's perspective that's getting interviewed, it's, it's, it's more fun to kind of be surprised by what they're going to be asked. Actually, a lot of times what it's just them. It's a, mm -hmm. it, it, if you do, you know, a lot of times uh, today is not a good example because we're actually here at home in LA. We just like went out for breakfast this morning, came over to talk to you for a minute, and right. it'll be like a relatively normal day. Right. Most interviews we do are in a row, like we're, we're in some city and we do, you know, 13 interviews in a yeah. day. Yeah. And um, and so by the middle of that day, I'm usually thinking like, why can't we just ask them questions? Like, <laughs> like they're probably interesting people, and do I really, like, do they really want to know how many takes it took to right. do the treadmills? Like, right, 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 right. Yeah, I mean, I, we, could, we, we could definitely give you the list of your, the, the answers to your questions in a row without you even asking them, probably. That's true, that's yeah. true. We've been asked a lot. Of things yeah, 21 right. takes, we got it on 17, we only got to the end of the three times. And, and I imagine one of those questions is how you got your name, okay, go, because everyone's reading Wikipedia and it's from nice. the art teacher. Yeah. Okay, go. The, um, it wasn't quite. It was, there was no pointing involved. There was no pointing, and it okay. wasn't, and it was It was really, well, I'll just, and I'll act it out for you. Okay. That's a word should word I be the art teacher? You. No, you okay. should be the still life. I'll okay. be drawing you. Okay. So okay. Tim is in art class. Okay, I'm Keep in mind we're 12. Am I naked? No, oh, no not you're me. a vase. Do you want to be? Well, no, something. you're a vase. Okay, here we go. You're, or maybe like a, in a bottle also. Be, be yeah. whatever you want. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Like so, so keep in mind, Tim's 12 and he's drawing, and we've been drawing for about half an hour now. Mm -hmm. I'm not the actual art teacher, I'm the art, artist, art teacher's assistant, so I'm probably 17, definitely stoned. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware that that's what that smell was when I was 12. Okay. I was like, that great body art, dude. Yeah. But, you know, but. How am I? Am I you good? Okay. Sorry. Okay. This is what Kirk would do. Tim, man. I want you to, like, touch the paper with your hand and, and touch the, the bottle, vase, whatever it is, with your, with your mind and then draw the difference. And you can, so obviously, Kurt, at this point, it like feels like he's imparted some incredible psychedelic knowledge to us. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Tim, if Tim is displaying how com totally confused yeah. he is right yeah. now, but he's yeah. already drawing. Mm -hmm. Confused, right, yeah. scared. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Go. Wow. And that, I believe, is the moment that you're supposed to have like chills. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It, massive. True. You get a. There's just supposed to be mind explosion of, of of psychedelic understanding. But we were 12 and not high, and so I don't think that, <laughs> happened. <laughs> that never happened to us. Okay. But we did. We were very amused by his behavior, uh -huh. and and it and it turned into a long-standing inside joke, 
And then when we started making rock music together in our 20s, yeah. we, I think it, f it just fit the feeling, you know? Yeah. Our music is pretty like, yeah. yeah. Hold on one second, hold on. Hold on, dude. I'm going to be done in a second, Jay. Hold on. I forgot cool. I had this. Damon, check this out. I feel Because like I can prepare. Yeah, you. Right? That's my, that's my diaper bag. Oh, right wow. Yeah, you're this. totally prepared. Look at this shit. So my parents. Your parents? It's in their 60s. Mm -hmm. From La in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Right? They're like, Jared, because that's me. Rockerazzi. Yeah. Rockerazzi. Dot com. Dot com. Um, they... They send me this. They go, have, have you heard of this band? In a, in a Brooklyn accent. Yeah. Have you heard of this band? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I say, okay, of course I've heard Jared. of Jared. Okay. Right, right, right. <laughs> and so they send me the I'll art. Get part of this band, exactly. Jared. This is a new that. rock star paradigm. There's a new rock star paradigm happening in the Friday Journal, Jared. Right, right. And so they send me this, right? And I'm thinking, fucking A, this is a great article. And, and Thank you. And I really enjoyed it. And this was, this was obviously a month ago, at least. Yeah. And little yeah. did I know that I was going to get a chance to here we are hang out face with you guys. to face, right. a couple of silver spoons, right, That's right. right. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to to say that I really enjoyed your piece. Thanks. And um, I would ask you to sign that, but um, there's no marker. Wait a second. Holy, there, you know what? Wait a minute. Unbelievable. Totally. Okay. I you know, I've never signed one of these before. Okay. This makes me very excited. So there you have it. Okay. Um, Thank you. This was uh this was. Uh, this was yeah. Talk about ab about reportage. This was uh, they. I, I kind of can't believe they gave us so much space because I. So I wrote this piece about 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 rock bands trying to exist in a, in, a, in an era when uh, people don't buy records anymore. Yeah, and they gave it two two full pages plus a big thing on the actual front of the. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's awesome. Felt yeah. I, maybe I should go into reporting. What's it, let's ah. switch this around. Okay. What's it like to be a journalist? Um, you know, I'm a musician. Okay, this is uh, not going to work out so well, is right. it? Right, but so, um, I really, actually, I really, to answer your question, I, I really enjoy this. And most of all, I enjoy talking to people that, that I actually learned something from and mm -hmm. are actually enjoyable and have a Did you learn anything from this? Um, no, but I just okay. thought it was cool to hang. Okay. Yeah, right. there's potential that he could. We're, we're right. on the cusp yeah. of maybe learning something. Right. No, I actually, I found the round table thing um, very I th that was yeah. yeah that we was just nice. we just yeah. talked to the, the band Saint Hotel, right? Saint, Saint Motel. Motel. Well, and do and we well, know the difference? Hotel Motel Holiday, and if your girl starts acting up, then just take her friend. Michaels. Okay, I gotta wrap it up because um, Darren needs you. Well, I'll treat you good.